So this is the baby doll. Then I got my drum carter brush. Um, we got the drum carter. Um, this is the baby doll. It's about two ounces that I'm working with. This is all raw. This has been already, the baby doll has already been picked through. It has been washed. And so all it does need is now is need to be prepped for, um, prepped. Um, I'm going to prep it even more through the drum carter and it's going to get ready to go. It's going to get be ready to go and put in bags to sell as uh, prepped raw fleece. So I'm not spinning this one. Um, this is just going to be going through the drum carter because the baby doll fleece is a super wash. So the VM is much harder to get out, which I have noticed. Um, I love it because it's super soft. It's going to make some great sock yarn or some nice sweaters um, with this yarn. I'm going to be getting some white baby doll and mixing it with this. And then I'm also going to use some colors, um, dyed color, you know, dyed color mohair. And I'm going to try to make some tweed yarn for the first time with the drum carter. So let's put some through. I don't, I'm not a professional YouTuber thing, so I don't have all the fancy setups. Um, meet my phone holder. Um, I have deer antlers that are holding up my phone for this. So it holds up my phone and it gives me the angle that I need. So I have my deer antler for my phone set up. So, you know, it so goes. This is the third time run through. This is going to be so fun to spin off of. I'm super excited. And uh, there's still some knots. This is, this is a little piece that came from it. And if I hold it up to the light, um, I held it up to the light. There's still a few kind of clumps on it, but for the most part, it's pretty much smoothed out. So I'm gonna have to run it through a couple more times, but for the most part, I mean, there's a few little specks of VM, but otherwise the, all the major ones are out. Um, pretty much almost all the VM is out actually. Um, but there's, you'll always find a couple um, when you're dealing with raw fleeces. Um, but for the most part, uh, look at how look at how beautiful this is, and I'll probably run it through a few more times just because of the lumps. But um, something that would normally take me one day just for one ounce to prep through and comb, um, this card whopped whopped it out like this within. I probably spent five minutes a piece on it, you know, and so you're going from raw to that to something like this. Kind of amazing. I'm really excited to do some blending with the black phileas, uh, baby doll hair, and mohair. And I'm going to try to create some beautiful art yarn um, with it on the carter and try to create some um, tweed. And so I want to do some tweeded yarn. Um, that's been a goal of mine to crochet tweed yarn and I can't find it. And when I do, it's really expensive. So now this is the main reason why I wanted to get into spinning is that I could create my own yarns that I want to work with and crochet with and this is why I want to work with uh, growers and you know to create fun things for them too um, you know and get they get something beautiful and they get beautiful product and dyed products and uh, you know for my splits I get to create something beautiful as well for other people so um, how fun Okay, do you believe that? Look at that. Raw, raw washed, two carded. Totally difference. <laughs> All right, we'll video the next steps.